Let's get to it. <laughs> Let's get to it. How yeah. how who who have you been meeting with at the uh, at the combine and throughout this entire process, Sauce Gardner? Uh, I can't even remember. That's a great question. But well, throughout this process, I've not talked to a lot of people. You know, I've not talked to the the Texans. Mm-hmm. You know, I've not talked to the Jets. Yes, you know, your favorite team. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You who? know, I talked to the Giants. Okay. Um, yeah, I talked to a lot of teams. Okay, you know, but, but uh, yeah, I feel like they 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 press and like they, they they like me a lot. What do you mean they press? Any, any, what do you mean? Like like they they like me a lot. You know, I'm not saying like press. That probably wasn't the right word to use. But they just express how, how they like me as a player and as a person. Okay. Um, and uh, how did the Jets express that to you, Sauce? Uh, <laughs> let's get right to yeah, it. They, it's, it's like they all express it the same way. <laughs> you know, it's not like recruiting where, where they have their different ways of trying to get you to come there. You know, they keep it they keep it uh, really real with you. Mm-hmm. Very genuine guys. You know, uh, all three of those coaching staffs are, are very genuine. You know, uh, yeah. Okay, so now I don't want to say too much, man. I don't want you look, Sauce. We're, this is this is all about making sure you wind up a New York Jet. I'm not going to lie. So because that this is this has got to happen because to me, to me, when you are in a division that has just added Tyree Kill to it, and there's already Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis, and and of course the Patriots have got Devontae Parker now. They need somebody like you to cover them. What, what, are you the type who would say, I'll take those guys, Sauce Gardner? Most definitely. You know, I don't run away from from the, from the good guys, the great guys, uh, I would say. You know, um, I'm, I'm always looking forward to guard the best, you know, go against the best competition. So it's not like one guy that I'm looking forward to guard. I'm looking forward to guarding the best. Okay. Would you? Do you normally travel with people? How do you? How do you? Uh, I mean, I had that? A, I had a senior on, on the defense with me, so you know it's not like I really was traveling because right. you know he was a senior, he was a great great player, you know. But that's not anything I would have a problem with. You know, I've traveled before. I played in the field, in the boundary, in the slot. You know, so I'm familiar with with all of those all of those positions and all those spots on the field. You know, so. Sauce Gardner. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Sauce Gardner joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. When was the last time you gave up a touchdown? Sauce. I can't even remember, Rich. It's a great question. Mm-hmm. I don't okay. remember. That's good. <laughs> That's good that you don't remember the last time you gave up a touchdown. I was told it was in high school. Did you give one up in high school, or was that before even that? I probably did. You know, I, I can't remember. Like, I know for sure, like, I never gave up, like, a deep bond. To, it probably could have been, like, a, a short throw or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't nothing crazy enough for me to remember. They probably pushed off anyway, right? They probably pushed off. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or, probably so. So, um, when you sent out this tweet, uh, Sauce, about you being the best player in the draft, I'm the best player in the draft, what what led you to take to Twitter and put those seven words into the Twitter machine and hit well, seven? I was I was in an intense workout, you know, and I I believe it was around five in the morning when I was working out. Mm-hmm. I, I posted the tweet after that though, but I just remember who everybody was saying the best player was in the draft, and I'm like, I know I know they probably sleep right now. I know I'm probably the only one up. You know, grind and putting this work in. You know, and uh, yeah, it was just when I, I was, I was just in an intense workout, man. And I was just like, man, I'm the best player. You know, I'm putting unseen work, and unrequired hours while everybody else is asleep. You know, and yeah, I ended up making that tweet a little, a little bit later. Mm-hmm. And then you hit send. Why do, you, why do you think you're the best player in the draft? Like I said, man, unseen work, unrequired hours. You know. uh, it's easy for me to separate myself from from the other guys. Like I said, um, I'm not a guy that's a cancer to the team. Uh, I'm a great teammate, you know, to the guys that's, that's on the team. You know, I'm someone that my teammates want to be around. You know, no, I just feel like I'm a baller, you know, on the field. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sponge, so I can always take advice and information from from other guys, even if they're not in the in the same position as me. You know, and I I always dominate. You know, no matter who's in front of me. What about the spotlight of a city like New York 
would that concern you in any way, shape, or form, Sauce Gardner? Man, my head is on straight, and you not know, nothing that can distract me from, from my goals and what I want to ultimately achieve. You know, the spotlight that'd be cool for for them to just see me in New York, but it's not nothing that's going to distract me. You know, uh, with incomes, expectations, you know, on paper, and with all the spotlights, going to come a lot of expectations too. You know, so with all that spotlight, I'm gonna have to make sure I'm balling on the field. You know, I'm being the best teammate I can and doing everything I can so we can win. What do you mean by best teammate? You say you're not a cancer. What do you mean by that? What do you Man, mean? you know, some guys, you know, can affect their teammates in, in bad ways. You know, and uh, you know, you got a lot of guys watching, watching you and seeing the little things that you do. You know, when you're the best teammate and you're not being a cancer, then that's good. You know, being a player-driven program. But when you got guys that can be a cancer to the te- to the team, you know, and doing what they're not supposed to do, and there's a lot of people watching them. And that's when other people can start doing the same thing that they see. You know, and that's when teams get to falling apart. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.